Hey guys, Val Nichols here coming at you live from beautiful Central Oregon where it is sunny, it's bright, and it's beautiful today. So I'm going to jump on here and talk to you about it is Manifestation Monday in my Wild Tribe group. For those of you who are a part of it, you know exactly what I'm talking about. And for those of you who are not a part of it, then I would love to invite you in. And if you are a woman who's looking to up-level her life, join. It's amazing. It's awesome. It's a great place to connect with like-minded women who are just really looking to live their legacy now. So I want to talk to you about the scarcity mindset. And here's the thing that gets people so many, so caught up is the fact that, you know, scarcity is so limiting. It is so limiting and it shows up in so many different ways in our lives. This can show up as not charging enough money from your clients or feeling like you're unworthy of, you know, charging money for your services. And if you jump on, hi everybody, I'm seeing some people jump on. So say hi, so I know that you're here. Facebook isn't telling me who's jumping on. So let me know where you're watching from so I can say hello, so I can give you a shout out. So I can send you all of the love because you guys know I'm here to serve you, to love you, to really just love on you and to teach you all of the things. So here's the thing about scarcity. Money is an energy. Money is just an energy. It's just a frequency. It's just a thing. Like if you really think about it, it's a piece of paper. Maybe it's Bitcoin. Maybe it's currency. Maybe it's a number that's in your bank account. But really, it has no meaning. But so many women out there, men too, so many women out there are giving their power away to money. I'll repeat that. They're giving their power away to money. Hey, Becky. Hello, hello, my love. So how does this show up? Somehow you might um, equate your worth with a, a number in a bank account, right? You might equate your worth with a number in a bank account. You are, you know, so many women out there are constantly giving away their power because of money. Hey, Christina. Hello, my love. Hello. Oh my goodness. All the beautiful people on here today. So what happens when you give your power away to money is you're compromising your own value for something that really is just another form of energy. It shows up as a number in a bank account. It shows up as a dollar, like a piece of paper. It shows up as Bitcoin, whatever that shows up as. If you're giving your power away because of something, something that is, it doesn't even have meaning. It's the meaning we give it. Or, you know, if you're like I was in my 20s, I equated my worthiness in how much money I had. So literally, I was staying in miserable, in jobs I was miserable in. I was chasing money, which caused me to end up like compromising some of my values and chasing after this thing that I thought made, created value for me. When really, when it comes down to it, like money is an energy. Money's this thing we use to exchange value for value, right? Money's this thing that we use to, you know, buy goods, to have services, to, you know, really it's, it, we give it so much more meaning than, than it is. And if you think about it, making money is actually really easy. It's easy. You can create wealth, you can create abundance by being abundant. You can create abundance by being abundant. This all comes down to your personal leadership. This all comes down to personal leadership. Hey, Vanessa. Hello, hello. So when we talk about creating abundance, here's the thing. It's easy. The thing is we overcomplicate it. We overthink. We have shiny thing syndrome. We get stuck in this cycle where we're just like spinning our wheels trying to create money. We spin our wheels trying to be abundant. We spin our wheels and we get nowhere. Like literally, it feels like you're on a treadmill and you're running and you're running and you're running and you're getting nowhere, right? 
We all know that feeling. We all know that feeling, especially because the women who follow me are very um, high achieving. They're very driven. They're very intelligent. But when we get stuck in here and we're not trusting, we're not like, you know, trusting this amazing inherent um, ability we have to be abundance, to be creators, to be in our creative energy, we overthink, we analyze, we get stuck in this, this thought process, right? And here's the thing, if, if we knew that it was easy to create wealth, if we knew it was easy to create abundance, then we, then it would be, we would wonder, you know, why aren't we there yet? Why haven't we arrived? Why haven't we created this yet? So we overcomplicate it. We overthink because it gives us an out. Because if we knew how easy it was to create wealth, to create abundance, to create money, to create energy, to create exchange, to create um, abundance. And I'm talking, I'm not just talking about money. I'm talking about in your time, in your finances, in your business, with clients, with your loved ones. You know, being abundant is not just about money. Being abundant is having the time and the margin and the space to worship the way you want to worship, to spend time with God, to be with your family, to be a loving wife, to be a loving, you know, with your children, to be abundant, to be giving, to be generous, to be in the giving space where we are constantly pouring into people, giving more, giving of our leadership, giving of our talents, giving of our 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 gifts and our skills, like we're abundant. You become abundant by being abundant. But we overthink, we overcomplicate, we make things a lot harder, right? I mean, how many of us are guilty of overthinking, overanalyzing, making things harder than they are, right? We all do it. We all do it. And here's the shift we get to make. Hey, Miriam. Hello, hello, my love. Hello, Heather. Mariah. Hello, hello. Kimberly, Vanessa, Sherry, Kristen, Becky, Samantha. You guys are amazing. I love you, ladies. So here's what I want to offer you today. And when you think about shifting from scarcity and lack, right, then you're in this like really tight, really closed off, really heavy energy. And this is when you start thinking about like it's not possible, right? When you're in that space of scarcity, you start thinking about lack and limitations and it's tight and it's heavy and you feel like you're just like, you know, like that feeling of just feeling like tight and like things, you're not in the realm of possibility. When you're in abundance, when you're being abundant, you're open, you're excited. You're in your creative energy. You're in the flow. You're in, you know, you just know that you've tapped into that intuitive space where things are just happening and things are possible. And this is where literally you guys like, it's amazing to me. But, um, so the other day I was thinking about how I wanted to, you know, my husband and I are looking at upgrading our vehicle. I sold my car. We have another Lexus and we're looking to upgrade it. And, um, it's been a challenge, you know, finding something. He wants the towing capacity. I want the leather seats. Like, you know, we're, we're trying to find a compromise here. I want luxury. He wants towing capacity, right? Because he's practical. He's logical. He's an engineer. Like, this is what happens. And so we are in this space of creative energy where we're thinking abundantly. You know, as, as before, I was very much in the space like, I want another Lexus RX, that's it. Like, this is what I want. And I was tight and I was closed off and it was heavy energy. I was not open, I was not expansive. I was very much in a scarcity mindset of this is what I want and I'm not willing to budge. But once I was able to shift into that expansive energy, literally, you guys, literally, I decided I was going to choose to make it easy because we choose if it's easy or if it's hard. And I said, this is going to be easy. I'm going to find the right vehicle I want. I'm going to find the exact vehicle we want. And it's going to be easy. Lo and behold, boom, here it is, right? The answer that we all both wanted, the answer we had. And you guys, abundance and expansiveness, manifestation, whatever you know, it is you call the energy, 
can be like that. You guys, like I can manifest like crazy. Literally, like my mom has said this my whole life. I could say like, I need $20 to pay for this thing. And then boom, I find $20 in my pocket that I didn't even know I had, right? Or I can say, you know, I wanna hire this and this and this such a person as a virtual assistant, which you guys, if you're a virtual assistant, reach out to me, I'm hiring again. So, you know, I want this and this and this out of a virtual assistant and then boom, next thing I know, my friend shows up and says, hey, I have this friend and for some reason I've been thinking about you and lo and behold, they're the perfect fit. You guys, I can manifest like crazy because I choose, I choose that it's easy. I choose that it's light and I choose that God is going to show up with the right opportunity at the right time and it always happens, always happens. Christina says, love that we become abundant by being abundant. Yes, giving what we have, even when we feel like we have nothing to give. Yes, absolutely, 100%. And that is all about your leadership. Your, um, as a woman, tapping into your worth and realizing that you are as worthy as you you say you are. You know, not looking for other people for for permission. Not looking for other people to... um, you know, accept your dreams or believe in your dreams for you because it's, it's all in you. You know, scripture says you are, are abundantly, um, you are fearlessly and wonderfully created. That's the truth. You know, whether we have a certain number in our bank account, whether we have, you know, whatever it is that we're, we're choosing to believe, whether we want to be expansive, if we want to be open and airy and in the flow and in that place of manifestation and abundance, or if we want to be tight and closed off in the realm of scarcity and, you know, like those people that I know, um, that are, you know, no matter what solution you offer, like literally they can be like, I'm thirsty. I'm tired and you're like, great, you know, here's some water and here's my bed, like lay down, sleep, take a nap. And they're like, no, 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 I can't because, um, you know, that water might be, it's not organic and I can't sleep in that bed because I need my CPAP machine. I need this and this and this, you know, you can choose to be that way. You can choose scarcity or you can choose abundance. And when you choose abundance, You guys, this is not a selfish thing because anybody who knows me, you know, I don't operate from, from selfishness. You know, everything I do in my life from my business, I give back to, um, being in ministry, you know, like is constantly about pouring myself into others, serving others. This is my entire life. This is not just a business I have. Like my entire life is around giving and abundance and, you know, serving others. And you guys know I'm dedicated to you. I am dedicated to your growth. I'm dedicated and committed to your expansion, to you creating abundance in your life. When you operate from this place of abundance, where you're no longer afraid that if you serve, that you somehow won't get yours. When you realize that, you know, when you're giving, when you're constantly serving, this is, this is who you are. That is when the magic happens. So remember, choose abundance. Samantha says, I choose abundance. This is awesome. This is great. So I love you guys so much. Um, I hope you guys have checked out my Women of Wealth and Worth program. It is amazing. We dive all into this, how to choose abundance how to be abundant, and how to operate from that place in your life so that you're able to not just create income, but to create impact in the entire world. I love you guys so much. Have an abundant, amazing Monday. I love you. Bye.